Hey you right guys, Trey from Winters Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to what I believe is episode 15 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 2. We just had the two parts uh, where Angel turned a little bit evil, or quite evil I guess, uh, now is left. He's just kind of disappeared and left Buffy all by herself, which is like, how dare you? How dare you do this? So I don't know, I thought they'd resolve the whole Angel situation in the last episode. I'm glad that's going on a little bit longer so it can kind of change up the relationship between them both. Um, and maybe Buffy, not that her story with Angel was getting stale, it's actually just getting like really, really interesting. But it'll change up their whole thing now, which I'm excited about. Uh, and yeah, we'll see. We've got Willow who found out who found out about Cordelia and Xander. So there's some storylines that you know are open for now. The next few episodes, I don't know if there's another two parts of for a while with Buffy. So I'm expecting more kind of episodic episodes. Maybe not. Maybe from this point onwards, it's just like kind of a main story, which would be nice. Uh, not that the episodic episodes are bad, like I always do say. And we'll just see what happens. So episode 15, guys, we're kind of getting towards the end of season two. I was only about two thirds of the way through. I'm not sure exactly how many episodes exactly there are in this season. I think there's 22, but I could be wrong. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you want new, remember to subscribe. If you want uncut and early reactions to Buffy, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below. But for now, friends, let's go. Hi. Oh, that's what I was going to say. What are you looking at? He's kind of cringe, but he does it really well, so it's, it kind of works. I like it. Oh! So did you like the movie last night? It's the statue from season know. one, dude. Today's movies are kind of like, that's great, Larry. You've really mastered the single entendre. <laughs> so, are these the villains of this episode? What are you going to do? Talk? <laughs> Talking, on, what a concept. How far have you got? I don't want to be the only girl in school without a real boyfriend. I'm sorry. I should have yeah, mine's fucked up. <laughs> you know to go away? Oh yeah, one eight hundred. I'm dating a skanky hoe. Yeah. Cordelia ain't that bad. You kind of won us around this last few episodes. That's for sure. Well, actually, in all of season two, I'd say. And what does he see in her? To do things I can never tell my father about because he still thinks I'm a good girl. I just don't trust Oz with it. So shut up. Do these two work? <laughs> I always debate it in my head, I'm like... I mean, what the fuck is that? Is that a werewolf? <laughs> you off. Oh shit! <laughs> what is that? I think it's actually meant to be a werewolf. I'm guessing it seems like it's going to be one of those... Episodic well, ones. Um, Episodic villain, at least. Oh, oh, and then there is a werewolf is going to come at some us. point. So it was kind of inevitable. I mean, they might not look it, but bunnies can really take care of themselves. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of buzzing for werewolves at this point, but I've seen so much of werewolves and vampire on our team. Hey, buddy, this is a public forum here. I think you splash on just a little Oh, last week, some huge dog jumped out of the bushes and bit me. He's a werewolf, then. He's a werewolf. Be still, my shorts. We're in the same group. What? I may have to attack you. Oh, Summers, you are turning me on. Unbelievable, yeah, this fucking idiot. Oh, well, there's absolutely no scientific explanation. <laughs> Flying. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> Mumbai. <laughs> hey, we are agiles. You see, uh, the, the werewolf, no bullets. No matter who this werewolf is, it, it, it's still. We know who it is. Someone literally said that I've been bit. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's too obvious. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was just a stray dog. Oh my god! Who the fuck are you? Oh, well, it's good to get the fruit while it's fresh. You'd be wise to take What? It this guy looks like he's auditioning to be a librarian, and you. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're a girl. I'm sure you're like, ah, ah. Uh huh. <laughs> of course. Everything okay? Oh, Angel's here! I, I thought I heard Hey, don't I know you? Is he gonna eat, uh... Come on, I'll get you home. Oh, dear. Get him in! I don't think we see Angel for ages, not a lot. Ander, guys. What do you think they are? Guys. Look at Willow and Cordelia kind of bonding. If I saw that, I'd be like, it's a guy in a costume. <laughs> and then I'd die, so... <laughs> oh. Oh. Jesus. 
What the fuck is this? This is what happens when a woman tries to do a man's job. Gonna kill this guy. It's going to be on your pretty little head. I hope you can live with that. Mate, you're a werewolf hunter and you've done nothing. Yes, they tell me I can't hunt an elephant for its ivory. I mean, I'd rather it be a costume than CG. Obviously. With Buffy. Has Angel killed that poor girl? Yeah. Teresa! Gonna get this thing. Even though it's Angel who did it, that's funny. Yo, is that, is it that definitely that guy? Wait, is it Oz? What the fuck? Okay, I didn't see that coming. Not even gonna lie. Fair play, Buffy. I, I thought it was very obvious that it was a guy, but then I was like, maybe this was... Huh. It was back in the day, so maybe they didn't think it was obvious. <laughs> That's pretty much the reason I called. Okay, that steps up the stakes a little bit. Something. Yeah, but I got someone. Teresa. God, as in. Now he's gonna think he killed someone. You know, his angel. Like you just admit, it, oh, it's me. As a human werewolf walking around out there, probably making fun of us. I know what it's like to oh, yeah. crave the taste of freshly <laughs> killed meat, to be taken over by those uncontrollable. God, that bloody episode. You said you didn't remember anything about that. Look, the point is, uh, <laughs> the best thing I can get inside of me. I'm a big bad wolf. I'm on the prowl. I'm sniffing. It's obvious who I am. What? I'm Larry. The guy has practically got so one dumb. stamped on his forehead. <laughs> gonna force a confession out of him. Good. Good. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? In the meantime, we need to. Are you okay? What? So I'm the werewolf, and I'm telling you now because if I kill anyone else oh, tonight, yeah, I, I'm just gonna I, feel worse. Try not to think about it. It's why so jumpy, Larry. Geeks make me nervous. <laughs> Is that wrong, uh, really it? I know your secret, big guy. Classic. I know what you've been doing class. Hurting me isn't gonna make this go away. People are still gonna find out. All right. Wait, you must have done some else. What do you want? It's over for me. What does he think he's talking about? I mean, come on. Maybe he's a werewolf. How are people gonna look at me after they find out I'm gay? <coughs> I said it. Not a werewolf, <laughs> then. I never felt I could tell anyone. And then you. There you, you know, go. People, knowing you went through the same thing, it is oh. to admit the same Ooh. thing. <laughs> it's ironic. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> Your secret's safe. So now Larry thinks Santa's gay, so I mean... I, I thought like, maybe he is a while because the scene was going on along with it for way too long. Not a while, though. Maybe you need to make the first move. The you first think, move? That won't make me a slut. Hey. Yeah, I'm <laughs> uh, Cordelia. Sometimes the comedy is so simple, but it just works. Nowhere in any of the reports did it say anything about her being mauled. And they were linked to the animal attacks from the other night. There we go. No. There is no good here. Well done, Sandra. Willow would be Robbie the Robot's love. It's good that she's actually like seeing like head and Teresa's This death has affected her a little bit. Oh, Boris. I'm just gonna have to slay her. I'm just getting right. Don't kill his love. Don't kill her, just put her humanity back on. Or not. Xander actually got a vampire. He's not the same guy you know. Yeah, at the moment to fix it. Maybe. No 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 no, this ain't Oh I thought they were gonna move in. Oh no, my life's not. He's doing a Scott, he's gonna chain himself to like the radiator or something. Oh, damn it! We'll talk about this now! <laughs> She's Buffy so bad. Told me that sometimes changes. Well, welcome to the world! <laughs> if he says he doesn't if he wants to be I'm by himself, well, let's go. <laughs> Willow, get out. Oh here we go, transformation time. Uh? Oh man! <laughs> Climb Willow! There you are. This guy's gonna get in the way. Nah. What's he doing? I put enough phenobarbital in this thing to sink a small elephant. It should be enough for a large werewolf. Uh, maybe, but the guy's still gonna get in the way with his silver bullet. If Oz dies. Yo, if Oz dies. Nah! Don't you bother with that. God, Willow, you got this. Yo, oh, we got Willow and Xander doing shit. Ben's the slime for dude. Yeah. So will he be a werewolf every month now? Because they haven't cured him. 
Here, let me get this. Hey, there you go. Character development. Locker room with him when absolutely nothing happened, and I thought I told you not to push. All I meant is that he didn't <laughs> okay. try to look up my school. We're talking obedience school. Paper well, jealous now. Always in the back I don't know who he's going to end up with Willow or Cordelia. All I'm saying is she's not safe with them. Willow and Austin are not safe He said, I'll be okay. I just have to lock myself up around the full moon. Only he used more words than that. Anagram. Okay, we've got a bit more to Austin's episode in the lot. I'm kind of okay with you being in my life. Hey. <laughs> you are quite the human. She's quite the character. I'm not gonna kiss you ever. We're gonna wait on the kiss. Oh no, we're not gonna wait on the kiss. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, that was a good time to do it, so. Oh, I like it. A nice ending, wow. Okay, there we go, guys. That's episode 15 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 2. I'm going to keep this review short because it is very hot in this room and I need to open some windows. Like, it's boiling today. I don't know why. But yeah, I actually enjoyed that episode. I think the first 20 minutes, I wasn't too sure because I thought it was going to be like another episodic episode. And the first 20 minutes were fine, but there weren't anything really special. It was, like I said, a matter of time before they added a werewolf into it. But... Once we found out it was Oz who was actually the werewolf, I felt like the episodes changed up for the better. Because we had, you know, the stakes were higher. It added more to Oz as a character and his relationship with Willow. And, you know, it meant more when, like, the, the guy with the silver bullet was going to go and shoot him. It, you know, it had more of an impact because we don't want to see Oz die, obviously. He's, he's adorable. We need him. And, yeah, that's, that aside as well, we added quite a bit on with not just Oz, but Willow and actually Xander, finally. I felt like this was... Probably Xander's best episode in a long time. Maybe even all of season two. I don't know if, but definitely up there is one of his best episodes. Because he wasn't annoying. He had a couple of annoying lines, yeah, sure. But that's just a Xander. But it's always nice when Xander has a bit more to his character in an episode than just that. And that's what, what I'm kind of waiting for with Cordelia. She, she had a couple of episodes earlier on in the season where she was just more than Cordelia. But I'm waiting for that with her. But Xander had that for this episode, which was nice. He actually saved Buffy's life, uh, you know, opened up a bit about everything, which was nice. And we'll, we'll see where it goes with him and Cordelia and him and Willow, like the whole love triangle. And Buffy kind of gave him a look as well when they were speaking about Angel. But uh, yeah, it was it was an okay episode. I wouldn't say it was one of my favourites of season two. I did like that it added more to those side characters because Buffy was kind of took a back seat for this episode. Um, not that she wasn't like, you know, still doing her Buffy shenanigans, but it was definitely more so the side characters episode, which is always nice. And I just thought the first 20 minutes were a little bit, you know, cliche. The Buffy cliche, we had the villain of the week and we had to figure out what to do with him. And then it did change it up, thankfully, because this would have been a very mediocre, bland episode without that kind of change up that it was Oz. I was leaning towards a kind of 5 out of 10 in the first 20 minutes, but now I've seen the full thing, I'd probably give it a 6.7 out of 10. I think it was a good episode. Again, not one of my favourites. I won't say it was great, but it was still enjoyable. And yeah, I think because we've just had like a couple of fantastic episodes, this one's kind of like a little bit of a dip down in, in quality, but I don't know. It still added more on the story. I was kind of, like I said, I was kind of worried it would be episodic, but it did add more and progress the story a little bit. We even had Angel in the episode as well, which I didn't think we'd see him for a long time. So yeah, there we go, guys. I need to open windows because this is <laughs> getting stuffy in this room. But thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know for the episode down below in the comments. And like I said, if you want uncut and early reactions to Buffy, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below. Until next time for episode 16. Thanks for watching. Peace.